Welcome back, everybody, to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on Santa Cruz's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. On the line, we have none other than Lee Barnathan, a writer for the Santa Cruz Gazette. Lee, are you with us? Yes, indeed. How's it going today, Lee? Rainy. Really? Where? <laughs> Depends what block you're on. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true. That's very true. So let's hit the first article you wrote this week, Lee. It was Smythe launches council run, which was no, you know, that was all over town. Did you glean anything from Cameron this time around than before when you spoke with him? Well, other than doing what we all knew he was going to do, yeah. he was going to run. Yeah, was... His reasons for running, well, that came out of uh, not anything I knew before. He basically says that... Okay, we're at a crossroads, Santa Clarita. This is not the little small town that I grew up in. We've gotten really big. We're the third biggest city in the county now. What are we going to do? What's our future going to be like? Well, I have this idea that we need to be this way, and if you vote for me, we will be this way. Now, what is this way? He hasn't defined it yet. The implication is that he wants to keep the small town feel that he knows. And frankly, I'm sure there's a lot of people in Santa Clarita who feel that way. Right. And they feel that way in the midst of almost, I'd label it, exploding growth. There's developments, commercial and housing, all over the place. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But maybe he's thinking he needs to kind of moderate that and keep it in check. I don't know. Well, 20, 25 years ago, there was a council member named Jill Klajic, or Klajic, I forget how to say her last name. And she she campaigned on a no-growth or an anti-growth movement, and it won her a spot on the council. Um, she would be today's Tim Ben Boydston because she was the one voice that spoke up and no one listened to. Yeah. But she was extremely popular because there were, over time, came, people came to believe that she may be right. And the way Newhall Land continued to develop and develop and develop, there were other people who started saying, hey, she was right. Yeah, as long as there's a plan, I, I mean, growth, controlled growth is probably okay. But uh, what do you think his chances are? I mean, is, is it too late for him because the name recognition is kind of gone? You talking about, about Smythe? Yeah. His chances are good. I, I would agree. I mean, I, I'm not saying that I have a pulse on Santa Clarita. I don't. It's been too many, too many years that I was gone. I've only been back since the start of this year. But if I rem- what I remember about Santa Clarita when I worked there 20, 25 years ago, is, and, and I think it holds true now because you've had the same people on the council, they know what they like. And, and somebody can come back, be like a prodigal son, so to speak, and, and, and make a mark again. I believe him completely when he says he has no desire to seek any office above the council. I don't see any ambition. I see him simply being home. He, this is home. Wow. He wants to make his hometown the best it can be. Right. Well, I would add I'd, I would add a caveat, caveat to that only because he has young kids. I think once those kids are you know many yeah. years from now are up and out of the house, I think that could change. But for now, I agree. Yeah, he Your did kind of say the same thing to us. Yeah, he said the same thing to us when we talked to him. Interesting though. Now, Should be a fun race. What I think, because I think, you know, we have a wide range of ages for voters. And his dad, who was one of the first city council, who was one of our mayors back in the late 80s, was the um, um, superintendent of the Hart District for many years. I think that name still has all kinds of recognition to young and old. And plus, he's already been on the uh, city council and the state assembly. So I think that name recognition alone is going to carry the way. And you have to admit, name recognition is huge with the city council. Yeah. Look at the two f- li- ladies. That it's won. even going to be even more interesting this time because right. it's it's in conjunction with. Can you imagine the ballot in right. November? It's going to be like a phone book. Right. Hey, hey, Lee, I want to change the subject and go to our buddy uh, Mr. Petzl, the friend of the shows. He had a little run-in with the local daily paper, huh? He did. Uh-oh. What, what happened? What did he do now? The truth is, I don't know what happened because I couldn't get a hold of anybody at the signal, which didn't surprise me. Wait, you but called and asked for uh, uh, comments? Sure, I called Russ Briley, got his voicemail, left a message. I left a message saying that something doesn't seem right here. It doesn't make sense why he would be disinvited. And I was hoping to get some clarification. The best case scenario was that I would have got him, and he would have said exactly what he told Petzold, that he sent pictures, he took pictures and put them online when he wasn't supposed to, which to me 
sounds like a flimsy excuse, but you know what? I don't know. Didn't, didn't reach anyone at the signal. No surprise there. Which leads me to the third point. Wait, hang on real quickly. Let our yeah. listeners know exactly what we're talking about happened to Steve Petzold. All right, Steve Petzold, uh, I think it was last, earlier this week, there was a hearing, a meeting of all the candidates for the um, 25th Congressional District. It was last night, the debate. Yeah, it was last night. Yeah. It was, it was last a, night. Okay. Yeah, it was a well, debate last night. The signal, the signal opened up to its readers an opportunity to go and, and, and witness it. Yeah, it wasn't the readers because I actually applied for a ticket. And I don't. I wouldn't read that paper if you paid me. <laughs> well, subscribers. Okay. subscribers. He made it sound no, like he made it sound like the subscribers were open to it because he saw it. Uh, he saw it somewhere related to his subscription. So he gets on. He gets one of the hundred fifty seats, two tickets. He's ready to go. He's going to ask questions, and then he gets a call from Russ Russ Briley saying, "We don't want you to come." And, and like I said, it makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't know why. He has reasons. He has guesses, I should say, as to why. But even those don't make sense to me. Yeah. He thinks that he thinks it has to do with him urging the signal to drop its lawsuit against Doug. Well, yeah. what has that got to do with the candidates? He is a big, big opponent of Measure E. And he yeah. went to the signal, and he said to the signal, let me make a presentation opposing Measure E. You've had people make presentations favoring Measure E, let me give you the other side. Signal said no. Wow. So why would that be a reason that for That doesn't make sense, yeah. That, unless they're thinking that he's going to get in there and, and be like a Donald Trump supporter and cause havoc. But if you know Steve, that's not what he's going to do. No. That's he goes to council meetings, and he speaks to council meetings all the time. And, and wreaks havoc. <laughs> Mm, only, no, if you roll, only if you roll your eyes out. Only if you roll. Oh, <laughs> I knew that was coming. I hey, Lee, uh, real coming. quick, I wanted to talk to you um, about, because you wrote for the signal when, in the 80s, you said, or 90s? 1990 to 1995. All right. And what have you noticed since you've been back that's different f- now from when you uh, worked for him back then? The signal, first of all, it's not the same signal. Maybe in the same yeah. building, but it is not the same signal. When I started there, it was a small paper. With, with small circulation, probably that's still the same. But the philosophy Ooh. was put out the best paper as you can and, and teach people how to do journalism. You know, a, a small paper attracts recent college graduates. Exactly. And for me, it was the most perfect place to start a career because I got to do everything. I learned how to, in addition to what I learned in college, when I got there, I learned how to page design. I learned how to copy edit. I learned how to write captions. I learned how to make deadlines. I learned how to write all these different types of stories. And I got to write all these different stories. And I was in the sports department. And I got to go to Dodger games. And I got to go to Laker games. And I got to go to Clipper games and Kings games and UCLA and USC. And in addition to, all, in addition to high schools, and back then there were only three high schools. Right. So I was in charge of covering Canyon. And I had my run-ins with Harry Welch and even death threats leveled against me. Wow. But that, that was the experience that I got at the signal. So I come back 20, 25 years later, and I hear you having these in- issues with the signal. And, you know, the man- it's a different management. Sammy yeah. Zeal, there's no way that Sammy Zeal and Will Fleet, who were the general managers when I was there, there's no way they would be this kind of vindictive. There's no way yeah. that they would be this way. They were trying to make the paper a high-level journalistic piece. Yeah. They want you know they wanted to get away from from Scott Newhall and his very narrow minded view. I mean you know the signal yeah. was famous for having Scott Newhall editorials on page one. Yep. Zeal wanted to get away. She, she wanted to get away from that. She wanted a real newspaper in Santa Clarita, and a real newspaper doesn't go after competition. A real newspaper welcomes competition because it makes you better. So I don't recognize the signal anymore. It's not the paper that I knew no. when I worked it, there. And it's also filled with wire stories most of the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, most of the news is wire stories. We had a share of wire stories, too. We had a lot. We had all the big news yeah. was, was done on the wire. But, but the, the majority know, of their columns are by syndicated columnists. Yeah. And we had, and we had a few syndicated columnists, too. Usually the ones out of Sacramento or Washington. Right. Um, locally, it, we, we covered everything, I think, pretty darn well and we beat the daily news beat the times on a regular basis because we were up here yeah 
All right, Lee, we've come to an end of our time. Lee Barnathan, everybody, the writer for the Santa Clarita Gazette. You can read his articles every week in the Gazette. And, Lee, we really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on. Glad to. Thanks for having me. All right, Thanks, Lee. Lee. That's, that's, wow, I'm glad somebody actually echoed my sentiments. Saying, that's like deja vu. I it's, heard that earlier in the yeah, show. Wish, a very smart take, very, very <laughs> well thought out <laughs> position. Unlike um, the position of my Washington Capitals, I mean, we don't want to talk What's about that. What's wrong with Washington Capitals? <laughs> you know, I don't even follow hockey, John, but I was looking at the LA Times this morning and I came across the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked, yeah. I said, uh-oh, John's not going to be happy. They're you know, down three games I, to one. This is, this is my thought process, and we can talk to Mr. Sports about this after the break. You guys, you guys punked me. Well, I ah. felt better about talking about the Capitals, though. You punked yourself. Anyway. I know. I was like, yeah, he's going to break sign. I anyway, punk. Mr. Sports, what do you think about his poor yeah. Capitals? Uh, they just seem like they're super slow on the ice, yeah, and they're stronger. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah, say yeah, that they're stronger yeah, than the look, Penguins, look, but speed. This is my thought process with in ho- playoff hockey in general. doesn't matter who you are, what team you like. If you follow playoff hockey, you're a masochist. Okay. If it's you look for your team. For your, it doesn't matter if you follow it at all. If you have love a team and you follow that team in playoff hockey, you're a masochist. Because you look at the number of hits. It's the first time in the NFL or in the NHL where a team has actually uh, out-hit a te- another team by 20 hits. Really? And outshot a team by 20 shots and lost. It doesn't wow. happen. So you look at all the stats. Yeah, I know it's a seven-game series, Ken Chase. But... It doesn't matter. We're done. And it's not a question of supporting my team either. I'm getting texts from him. I'm going to turn off my phone now. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. Go they, for it, Ken. You get you get 47 shots on goal and you can't score? So wait, hang on. You don't think there's like a miracle on ice coming on? Not at all. So, no. John, who is kind of like the presidential thing? After the Capitals are eliminated, who will you pull for to win the Stanley Nobody. Cup? I won't. Oh, you'll just be done. Know. You're what not going to vote. Louis I'm not going to vote. I'm, take, I'm taking my hockey stick and going home. <laughs> I'll vote for the... Hey, Ken. You know what I'll do, Ken? This is for Ken Chase. I'm going to root for the Los Angeles Kings. Oh. I hear they're playing golf right now. They're doing really well. So we, last time I was here, General, we talked about NBA playoffs, and yeah, I've started did. watching a few games, and I have to tell you, entertaining. When you really? get the games with a lot of passing, those guys are great passers. They work the ball around. Yeah. And when I watched the Dallas versus Oklahoma City game the other night, that was a good basketball game. Yeah, and, and yeah. the games where the team has been, you know... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, winning by 45. No, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, those not ones good. you turn yeah. off like yeah. by the first half. Yeah. yeah but now we got farther along in the playoffs, the so matchups are closer together in talent. Not Some really good games. Cleveland and Atlanta, though. No, which, not yet. Which is, I don't know if that's on tonight, but that, one, yeah. that series is just... The like, Oklahoma City San Antonio is on tonight, I believe. That one's good. Watch that game, that folks. That'll be a good basketball game. Yeah. It's, I, I, can't, I can't come up with a scenario that is going to be exciting. I mean, maybe maybe the Warriors without Steph Curry against San Antonio. So you're, so you're just thinking Warriors are going to win it all. It's yeah. Where your I mean, mindset's at, so it doesn't even yeah. matter what's going on. You know, but I have to tell you, yeah. the NBA is kind of like baseball. It's real localized. Because when I lived in Phoenix, when the Suns were really good, when Charles yeah. Barkley played for them, and when they were in the playoffs, the whole city stopped. Yeah. So, you know, when they were in the finals, at 3 o'clock, when the game was at 6, you had to leave work because the mm-hmm. – Freeway was jammed. I mean, prime time. Yeah. Is everybody Lakers, going home to like, watch the game? Time, but like yeah. Lakers, early two thousand yeah. Lakers. This right, right. That, was, was that was so. If Lakers you live versus, Lakers. if you live in that market, it can but get Lakers really versus excited. Boston. Yeah, That's everybody true. can get behind that. That's true. Oh yeah, Jordan versus. I mean, you start with Jordan versus the Cavaliers at the time, and Jordan versus the Knicks at the time. Right, but right. you don't you think know, Golden State exciting. versus Cleveland will be like that again? No, this year. No, no. It's not. It's not. To me, it's not must see TV. I don't know about you guys. Huh. That's, that's interesting. I it's I know I would definitely watch that series, but I do think the Warriors are going to win no yeah, matter what happens. I don't, even I don't that part. I don't see even it. without Curry. Now, if Steph Curry doesn't come back in the, throughout the entire playoffs, then I think like, Cleveland actually has a chance. Yeah, well, they, 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 I, not only does Cleveland have a chance, but San Antonio has a chance. Yes. That's true. I mean, that's San Antonio true. could yeah. beat them to play Cleveland. And in Cleveland, San Antonio would actually, I think, be a better series. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still yeah, think I San Antonio is going to win. I'm not a big Cleveland fan. I think. And you got your LeBron versus Spurs rivalry. Yeah, I mean, that would be kind of there, but like, it I would, don't love it would, that it would be a little bit more yeah. compelling yeah. to me to watch because I yeah. don't think it would be a quite as, as, as sure a thing as perhaps you know. Right. But man, it looks like it's. I mean, and is that good for sports to have dynasties like this? That's been a debate forever. Those guys, yeah. those guys. Wow, well, gee, we should do this on the radio show then, Doug. <laughs> if it's a debate forever. Thank you, Sherlock. Um, Ouch. No. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was going somewhere else. That's harsh. <laughs> but it's true. No, I mean, yeah, it's a debate forever. Well, Doug, what's your opinion then? It's I don't a debate know. I, I, I think dynasties are not good. No. I, I like parody. They're good. They're good if you're a fan of the team that is the dynasty. Yeah. Or if they're a super dynasty. A su- okay, right. what's, what's the difference between a dynasty and no, a super like, dynasty? Like, okay, but if you, it, can you, go, you look back now and you look at the Jordan Bulls mm-hmm. in basketball or the, the Pittsburgh Steelers, okay? You look back now and you go, wow, those were really good teams. There was right, a lot right. of – and then all of a sudden you enjoyed it. You know, you look at the Patriots. Am I going to go look back at the Patriots and go, wow, like those three, are really good three teams? Three four years. Yeah. yeah they, were, they were really good teams. They're good like, teams, but they weren't – it's not it's – not, Yeah, it's, I, I agree. I, I agree. don't know how to describe yeah. Super Dynasty, but you get the idea where right, it's like yeah, yeah. Mo- yeah. most of the Patriots aren't going to be in the Hall of Fame. That – yeah. no, that's There's going to be what, right. two players maybe? Teddy Bruschi probably. Uh, Bruschi's a push. Bruski, I think that's, that's a stretch. He had that heart condition. He'll yeah, get that's it. a He'll stretch. Get that's a stretch. Maybe a sympathy vote, but yeah, you know, that's you know, what I'm Brady, saying. Get Belichick. That's about it. Yeah, it's the system that won the Super Bowls. Yeah, it, kind of like the 49ers. Would you go the 49ers dynasty, but not true? Yeah, John Montana. Intriguing. Uh, it was Steve really Young. just yeah. That was about yeah. it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I I I think that. Uh, super dynasties are probably good, but in hindsight, and maybe it's because they're older, and or maybe because I'm older, you look back and you go, oh, I remember those yeah, days. They, they were really good. It. Yes. Yeah. Um, maybe somebody will look back and go, the Patriots are a good dynasty, and it's good for sports. I think if it hasn't happened now, it's been like 12 years since that dynasty. Like, yeah. if it hasn't happened now, it's probably not going to happen. It's been like yeah, that's a, a decade. Point. That's a good point. Gentlemen, KHTS is the home of the Dodgers, so we have to talk them. Are we Besides contractually obligated team. to talk about yes, Dodgers? Yes, we are. Um, play <laughs> I didn't sign this contract. <laughs> they're terrible. I, that's why I don't want to. Can we break the contract? I mean, really. I mean, when you have a weak bullpen and your hitting is inconsistent, yeah, you're gonna have a rough year. And that's exactly what happened, huh? Didn't they just lose a pitcher? They keep losing. It's, yes, it, and that's um, assuming they had a pitcher. Yeah, um, that's true. It was interesting because I, 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 did you? See, did anybody? Either of you guys see Magic Johnson's theory on how the Lakers should improve by getting better players by and winning more games? <laughs> I would propose. <laughs> I would propose. Wait, wait. I would, that's so profound. Say it again. It's, it's Magic Johnson. <laughs> it's Magic Johnson. They should get better players and they should win more games. I think that philosophy. Could apply to the Dodgers I too. Agree. Yeah. And he I'm ha- just saying, and he owns part of the Dodgers. He owns part saying, of them. I'm, I'm with saying, him. I'm in favor of them. I think that perhaps that's an excellent idea for the Dodgers in general. Uh, better players, of course. I don't think they actually can get better players. Um, mm. And perhaps I don't know. Maybe win a couple games that they're. Yeah, and they're not yeah. going to win that many games. Because I, they haven't beaten any teams that have a winning record. Well, I was just reading an article with uh, since the Angels lost their ace pitcher to Tommy John surgery that about possibly trading Mike Trout if you want to start a rebuild over there. Do you think the Dodgers oh, can swing They're Mike not going to let Trout, Trout go. How could you, yeah. you, you don't think they're going to start no. a rebuild? No. 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 You, build, you start a rebuild with Mike Trout. That's true. Yeah. That's you right. trade everybody else on their team. <laughs> hey, Mike, they, they'd have um, a fan mutiny on their hands. You're going to pitch to yourself. Uh, just throw the ball up. Hey, we'll have an invisible man on third, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He'll play with invisible base runners. That sounds like a, a comedy. It was like a right bad there. no, it was a bad backyard game. Don't you remember you didn't have enough players to play baseball and you're like, okay, and you, you get a double and you're like, okay, invisible man on second and I'm gonna hit it's again. Just like yeah. a who's on first. No, it wasn't quite that bad. I tell you one problem the Dodgers have among many is Yasiel Puig. Hmm. He's not gonna be a consistent player. He just can't he's a great uh athlete. Always flashes is it, is that it hitting or is it fielding? It's hitting. He's a good fielder. He's a great arm. He's throwing out some so then Great. you keep him, and you got to, but you got to, man, you've got to play for He's those. So inconsistent on the hitting. I mean, well, the whole the whole NL West is a joke. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You've got, I mean, Colorado at five hundred. Oh wait They're a minute, the Dodgers are tied at five hundred, and so, so are the San Giants. Francisco. Oh my wow. gosh, isn't this awesome? But as a Dodger, you always have eternal hope because they usually play better the second half than they do the first. I mean, St. Louis, for example, yeah. lost what thirteen in a row. Yeah. They're one game over five hundred. Right. Just throwing that out there for Baseball you. Baseball. Yeah. And how about your Orioles? Hey, they're doing well. Yeah, yeah, they're doing well with 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 local pitcher Zach Britton as our closer. There you go. There's a shout yep. out. Wait, Canyon High, right? Uh, I think it was Canyon. Really? I think it was. I think it was yeah. Canyon. Yeah. Um, you look at the New York Yankees, the second highest uh, payroll in, uh, in baseball, baseball, and they're in last place in their division. Yep. You have the Dodgers with the highest did they, payroll. Didn't they just beat the Orioles. Uh, we actually won the series. Oh, you won the series. Nice, oh, nice, oh, okay. nice okay. try. Dodgers nice with the highest, nice and we're 500 team. What does that tell you? You got a team like you Boston or Baltimore with a relatively okay no, payroll. Boston, 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 is, Boston has a is there the yeah. third highest payroll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, Come on, really? I mean, it just goes to show that it's a lot of guessing. It's like, oh, I'm just yeah. going to pay a lot of money for this guy because he's got a big name. He, he had one good year. I'm going to pay huge. Look at money look for at him. look at Kansas City. This is the way you win in baseball. Okay, it's real simple. You need 
a bullpen. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay. You need starters league. to go four, five, maybe six innings, and every once in a while get a good quality mm-hmm. eight inning yep. stretch. Okay. Then you need a manager who's playing, the, the, pulling the strings on the on the bullpen, and that's and decent hitting and, that, and good fielding. You're done. There you go. Yeah. But all right. So what's coming up this week? Anything good? Uh, all I know is it's going to be an entertaining summer with a presidential race in baseball. That's all I got to say. About all I got. That's, that's about all that's going on. Yeah. Are you going to vote for somebody other than the Dodgers? If yeah, no. Dodgers right. and Trump. Dodgers, Trump. All right, Dodgers, you've Trump. been listening to Gazette Dodgers Radio Hour. Doug and John and <laughs> Mr. our special guest, Mr. Sports on AM 1220 KHTS, Santa Clarita's hometown station. We're back next week. See ya. Thank you.